speaking with Joe Encontri, Krona's Director, Marketing and Projects, about the new Viscaline inline process rheometer, which provides inline, continuous measurement of fluid viscosity for process control and monitoring applications. Joe, can you talk a little about viscosity and why it's so important to get accurate, continuous measurements for process control? Well, in many instances, viscosity can be an important indicator of product quality and consistency. For example, in yogurt production, uh, the product's texture is the defining characteristic which is directly related to the viscosity. Newtonian fluids behave consistently viscosity-wise regardless of flowing conditions. However, it is a real challenge to effectively measure viscosity of non-Newtonian fluids in line since flow rate, pressure, and temperature have an effect on their viscosity. Since direct measurement is challenging, quality control technicians frequently have to infer viscosity from other measurements or devise complicated control strategies to minimize variations. Lab analyzed samples, periodically drawn from production batches, do provide some measure of feedback for process control or quality control when real-time information is not there. Today, quality-conscious customers are definitely seeking ways to control viscosity more tightly to optimize resources or so they can eliminate off-spec product. Tell us about the new Viscoline. What makes it different? Kronos Viscoline is extremely adaptable and can be used for a variety of Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids. It is an inline, continuous measurement instrument. No mechanical modification is required for accurate measurement of the different fluids. And the innovative Viscoline uses patented technology, which is based on mixing principles applied to pipes. Bulk viscosity is measured on the whole flow, which is then rehomogenized by the action of the static mixers. Viscoline can be used throughout the process industries, but is particularly well suited to the cosmetics, food, and beverage industries. What are some of Viscoline's key features? Well, here's just a few of them. First of all, it features an all stainless steel construction with no moving parts. There's no need for on-site calibration. It's available with integrated flow measurement for continuous process applications. It meets regulatory policy on metrological traceability. It provides continuous viscosity measurement with analog or digital process outputs such as Pulse or even Modbus protocol. And perhaps most importantly, it's extremely reliable, featuring a repeatability of 0.2% and a resolution to a tenth of a centipoise. Can you tell us a little bit more about how Viscoline works? Sure. The fluid flows through a continuous pipe which contains two low-pressure drop static mixers. Two differential pressure measurement sensors measure the pressure drop at both static mixers. Flow rate data is needed to accurately determine the flow regime used in the calculation of the viscosity. Flow meters can be provided with the system for this purpose. From the two pressure drop measurements and the flow rate, the fluid parameters are processed in the system. The pipeline viscosity is dynamically calculated by the system's processor using the power law model based on the fluid's power consumption through the two static mixers at the flowing condition. Viscosity is then delivered as an analog output suitable for control or monitoring purposes. What are some examples of where Viscoline was used for critical inline viscosity measurements? Well, there are several, but here are a few. Cosmetics, shampoos, beverages, ketchup, yogurt, sauces, cheese, emulsions, paint, resins, oil, plaster, and even drilling mud are just a few products where the inline viscosity measurements possible with Viscoline were important to successful process control. One specific example is shower gel where Viscoline was used to control the fineness, essentially the product's texture, of an emulsion, which is the mixture of two non-miscible fluids during the manufacturing process. Another example was beer production. Here, viscosity measurements by Viscoline were used to detect the threshold of transition from yeast to beer after the fermentation process when drawing product from the tanks. Transition could not be detected by any other means so the process had been manually controlled on a flowing time basis. To minimize yeast carryover in the final beer product, operators erred on the side of caution. However, once implemented, the much more accurate transition measurement with the Viscoline led to significant reductions in loss of beer while improving production time. 
Given the greatly successful initial results, this brewery desired an even more precise yeast detection threshold, less than 1%. The R&D team improved the device's sensitivity. Today, the units in the brewery are able to detect a viscosity variation of one-tenth of a centipoise. This represents a significant drop in lost beer, from 2% down to 0.25% per batch based on the detected yeast content, and this dramatically improved production yield while also benefiting product quality. Now here's the really big news. Since continuous inline viscosity measurement had not been previously available for most of the Viscoline applications to date, our customers tell us that their real economic payback has been much faster than even anticipated, often ranging from three to nine months from the date of implementation. Joe, thanks so much for speaking with us today about Viscoline Inline Process Reometer and its importance in manufacturing process control. For more information about Krona's products, please visit the company's website at www.krona.com. <laughs>